I'm going to leave you here with UFC lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos, who takes on Eddie Alvarez this Thursday on UFC Fight Pass. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Ready to go. Talk to me about what you knew about Eddie Alvarez when he was first given to you as an opponent. Eddie's been around in a lot of different organizations. Were you very familiar with him? Yeah, I was. Uh, I always watch Eddie fighting other organization, uh, uh, Japan too. He's a tough guy. He's been he's been on the road for a long time, you know, almost even more than me. I think he's been fighting for 13 years. I've been fighting for 12. And he's a tough guy. Uh, lightweight divisions, not just because I'm a champion, but I think it's one of the deepest division in UFC and a lot of tough guys and he's the next on the line he beat the two former world champion melendez which is a former strike strike for champion and anthony Pettis too but i just feel uh, uh, it's my time now and he's the next on the line uh, i will make sure i you know i bring my belt home back where do you believe he does pose a big threat to you if at all yeah eddie uh, He's a guy that walks forward, but I think he gets hit a lot. But I think once he gets hit by me, it's something different. Dos Anjos drops him there. Rafael Dos Anjos just busting out UFC wins left and right. That's why I have more advantage on this fight. And I think my ground game, my wrestling, and once I step there, I change, you know, I go be smooth. And everything change. I'm a different guy there. And excited for that. He said that he expects this to be a violent, explosive fight. And you just mentioned, we see him in wars a lot. Do you agree with that, that this could turn into one of those battles, or do you see this going a different way? Yeah, I know I have 20, 25 minutes to fight, uh, but if I have a, fin a chance to finish, I will take advantage of it. Of course, I think it will be, it will be a tough fight, it will be a violent fight. And I always go, and when I step there, I, I'm not going there to play. It will not be fun for him. He's really tough, very durable. That's what we see in a lot of Eddie Alvarez fights. He can take a lot of damage. What will it say about you if you're able to finish him? Tough guys like Ben Henderson, too, has not been finished on his life. I, I, I was the first guy knocking him out. Oh! Down goes Henderson! Rafael Dos Anjos! He's done it! And Cerrone is also I, it's one of the toughest guys that I fought. And Eddie Alvarez too is one more, you know, one more guy that I have to, to pass through. And, but of course, I'm looking for the finish. I'm looking for, uh, like I said, I have 25 minutes to finish the fight, but I will take advantage. And if I can't finish it before, I will take advantage of it this training camp and you did things a little bit differently than normal. Spent some time over in Asia and Singapore as well as King's MMA. Just tell me how you decided that was the right thing to do for this camp. Usually I go like after fights when I'm in off season but for this uh, uh, specific time I choose to go with a fight schedule but man every time I go in Singapore uh, it's a different training, different world and I, I get to learn a lot of Muay Thai, you know, there. I have great friends too. It's an amazing place. And obviously you've got a great home at King's MMA. Talk to me about what you guys have going on there. Man, we in fire. We, we have a great energy. We have a great session yesterday. Me, Kelvin Gastelum, all of these guys. And great energy. So we can't, can't, we can't wait to show this, you know. Because at King's, we, as I always say, we don't have a, a fight camp team. We have a team. You know, we, everybody care about each other. I think that's why we, we're still growing. As I talk to you, I noticed you're wearing flip-flops. How's that ankle feeling? 100%, you know. My foot's feeling great, the best shape of my life, and I will show this Thursday night. Talk to me about when that injury occurred. Originally slated to face Conor McGregor, that was in March. Pretty late into camp, you hurt your ankle. How disheartening was that, and how hard was it to make sure you're taking the proper rest to make sure it heals. Two weeks before the fight, I, you know, I, I was doing sparring as I always do. And it wasn't like a crazy sparring, like, you know, normal. I just threw a kick and I broke my foot. And that was tough for me uh, because I never cancel any fight to do injury for the first time I had to do because I had a broken bone. 
Yeah, but right now I feel like I'm, I did a two fight camps for one fight, you know, and I'm so excited for uh, fighting Alvarez. He's a tough guy next on the line, and I can't wait for a Thursday night and show the world that I come to stay on this division. When you envision this in your mind and you see the fight going down and you re replay it in your head, how do you get it done Thursday night against Eddie Alvarez on UFC Fight Pass? I think uh, I, I have, uh, like I said, more weapons. I know, like, he, he likes to exchange. He, he probably tried to, you know, put him against the fence, eat at a time a little bit, take me down. Uh, but the way that I train, I train for all situations. Whatever the fight goal, I will be one step ahead. If the fight stays stemmed, I will be one step ahead on the ground, wrestling. And. I will, I will take advantage. He's gonna make a mistake because I will be one step ahead and then as soon as he makes the mistake, I will take advantage. Well, we are so looking forward to this fight. You're on quite a tear. It's always a pleasure to watch you perform. Thank you. Best of luck, Rafael. Thank you. Rafael Dos Anjos takes on Eddie Alvarez this Thursday only on UFC Fight Pass.